Hi, I'm Shijiti Wahed, a content creator for The Observer. Today, we'll be asking case students what they packed and how their roommates were during freshman year. Stick around to see what you should have on your packing list. What is something you brought to campus that you couldn't live without? Um, I'd say my first year would have been my mini fridge. Yeah, but now I'm living in village, so I don't really need it. <laughs> yeah. One thing is definitely my headphones because I listen to music all the time, and also my longboard because I'm in the board meeting and it's the best club, and you should join. <laughs> Oh, I would definitely just say like, you know, blankets, winter clothes, I get cold easily, so yeah. Um, I really like I packed a pu air purifier because that's, that's the um, doors can get very congested, especially during the, with the heat. You just have a lot of things coming in, so it helped with cleaning the air. So my mom got a carpet for our house from like this, like, you know those Bonnie Jamelas back home, like the business fairs? <laughs> yeah, like in Bangladesh specifically, Aww. yeah. So she got it for her room, but then I was talking about wanting a carpet similar to that, and she's like, wait, I got you. And then she bring, like brings it out, and I'm just like, oh my god, that's so cute. And and my mom's like, you should take it. And I'm like, no, you bought it for your room. And I was like, no, you should take it. And it's like, so now it's in front of my mirror and I take mirror selfies. And anytime I take mirror selfies and I send it to my mom, she's like, yeah, oh. look at that carpet that I gave you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Aww. What about you? Um, I brought this blanket I was crocheting, which I didn't finish, but mm -hmm. it's now twin XL size. And I still didn't finish it, but I really like it. Whenever I'm drunk, I like to just wrap myself up. <laughs> yeah. Instant noodles. <laughs> One word. Probably my PS5. Definitely my humidifier. Um, in the first year dorms, I was getting several like nosebleeds um, because of how dry the air is, especially when the heat is on. Yeah. And my humidifier is crazy good. Dude, I'm sick right now because I didn't bring my humidifier this year. Yeah, wouldn't happen to me. What is something you guys brought that you regret bringing or like it took up room in your suitcase? Mm, actually, I don't think I have anything I regret bringing. I like You're a good packer. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm a good packer. Actually, I'm, I regret bringing not enough stuff. Mm. I wanted to bring back more spices. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Case for your um, t-shirts. Not never wearing it. <laughs> Not even right size. They're all wrong. They're just sitting, um, sitting there in the corner, chilling, um, dusty. Yeah. Instant noodles. <laughs> you regret them? Why? No, like it takes all the space. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Too much. Um, I have this like fan sitting in my room, and I brought it because it was hot when I moved in, but it's cold now because it's Ohio. Had to be shorts. Why is that? Because it's too cold outside to be wearing shorts. I think bringing all of my winter supplies, like mm. like when I first moved in, <laughs> was not necessary. Uh, took up a lot of space. Yeah, made yeah. it hard to move. M more than like three pairs of shoes. <laughs> like I just don't feel like I need that many and they take up so much space. Yeah. Definitely just like pots and pans because I didn't really need them my first year, but definitely going to be needing them for my junior year. Um, probably I just packed too many shoes. I like got comfortable with the, with shoes that I like walking in, and then like Crocs because like that was good to like walk around in the dorm, like in like the dorm area. But other than that, you don't need too many shoes. Do you have any funny roommate stories or horror stories? Um, me and my suite mate, we got the shower curtain for our suite, and it's this cat with laser eyes, and it's really crazy. Um, <laughs> I have a picture. This is us with the shower curtain. Um, and yeah, I think it, it's made my living experience so much better. <laughs> oh, I mean like I don't really have a roommate horror story, but like I just know I lived in Clark and so there was a lot of people who didn't know how to make popcorn or just use a microwave. So we had a lot of fire alarms. Yeah. Oh. Um, I lived in Norton, which is like the mistletoe community. And we only had one fire alarm, so it wasn't that bad, but like... That would be the only thing that like happened as a whole, but my roommate, I liked her. She was very nice, and she was from London, so it was cool, because she had a little accent and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. In my freshman year, my freshman dorm, my roommate used to call me Daddy Neche. I got you. It happened last night. <laughs> so, I live in a nine-person apartment, and no one does their dishes. Am I allowed to use strong words? Okay, because let me tell you this. Tell me why I found fungal growth in the sink. 
tell me why. Uh, tell me we're, why we're some bio fungal majors. growth. We had ten reasons that <laughs> <laughs> No, because I went in there. We have a, like a lot of like communal spoons that one of my roommates like put out there for everyone to use, and I like really love that for her. But also like people are using it. And then, like, they're not, like, cleaning it up. And it's like, is this communal? Just wash it after you're done using. I understand that people are busy, but you should be able to, like, I don't know, come back at night and do your dishes and then go to bed. Or, like, I don't know, give it two days max. Because after that, it's like, yeah, max, maybe. You know what I mean? Because, like, once you hit that, like, three to five day mark, it's like, it's like stinking up the kitchen. And we live on the, the floor that has the kitchen. So anytime, like, you would step out into the common room or the hallway and it would, like, stink up. And I couldn't take it anymore because I have, like, smell induced migraines. So I, I, like, I was like, I can't take this anymore. Yeah. And I did the dishes and I cleaned, deep cleaned that sink. It took an hour, but I did it. And I feel great. I'm happy and for you. annoyed. <laughs> Like, oh my god. Very, very yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I feel validated in my emotions. <laughs> what about you? I don't want to get in trouble. I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> that indicates a lot. Uh, for me, I forgot it was the course registration day or just a class that me and my roommate on freshman year, we had shitload of alarms. And so I wake up, sit up, check on time, close my alarm lay back down and she sit up, close her alarm, went back down. We just go up and down like five rounds <laughs> at least. We're, we're having sit up on that morning. Yeah. We don't want to. Damn. Probably the course registration day. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Um, so I have a funny story with my current roommate. I passed out a few weeks ago and I knocked on his door and I said, hey, I just passed out. I think I have a concussion. And he said, I'm too sleepy. Go back to sleep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it was really funny because it did happen at 3 a.m. So I don't know what I was expecting. I, he's also like not a doctor. So yeah, not his fault. But yeah, oh. I thought that was really funny. We loved hearing students talk about their favorite things they brought to campus and their roommate stories. We hope you did too. Thank you for watching. And as always, remember to like and subscribe to The Observer for more content.